Welcome to Pile Bucks video series dedicated entirely to barges. In this series, we're going to cover everything you need to know that pertains to barges, including the different types, applications, safety, specs, and much more. In this first video, we're going to go over the different types of inland barges and the advantages of each. Before we begin, we'd like to thank our sponsor who helped make this video possible, McDonough Marine Service. For over 75 years, McDonough Marine Service has offered one of the largest fleets of inland and ocean barges in the United States. Visit McDonoughMarine.com to view their entire lineup of barges. Inland barges. The majority of barges operating on the United States waterways are inland barges. These barges are designed to operate on rivers, canals, sounds, bays, and inland lakes. Inland barges provide the most economical mode of transportation for many high density, large volume, or oversized cargoes. Different barge sizes and configurations assist in project execution as well as of the transportation of specific materials. Barges are an integral part of the development of the many industries and communities that depend on the waterways. Deck barges. These barges are designed to carry cargo on deck and differ in size and structural design, depending on their intended use. Deck barge cargo ranges from pipe, piling, fabricated structures, equipment, rock, palletized material, or even horses, cattle, and rocket boosters. In some instances, certain liquid cargoes can be carried in the interior watertight compartments. Deck barges are also used as work platforms for workers and machinery, thereby serving as an extension of the land. Some of these barges may have raised rake decks. Spud and crane barges. Spud barges can be specially constructed to support a working crane. This type of barge typically has a box stern that provides maximum flotation while operating a crane. Extra strengthening is generally provided under the crane working area by use of additional bulkheads, internal trusses, or deck frames. Wooden crane mats should always be used to further distribute the concentrated load and provide traction for the crane. Drop spud barges and crane barges can also be used for transportation of general cargo or as work platforms. The operation of the spuds can be operated by a crane placed aboard the barge or by a spud winch that may be installed. Hopper barges. Hopper barges and split hopper barges are usually double hull construction wherein the sides and bottom of the cargo hold area are separated from the hull by void spaces. These double hull barges are designed for efficient transport of commodities in bulk, such as grain, coal, sugar, ore, steel, aggregates, timber products, and numerous other cargoes. Hopper barges have a boxed, single-raked or double-raked hull configuration. The hoppers may be covered or open. Covers provide protection of cargoes from the outside elements. Covers may be roll top or telescoping or lift off stacking type. Like what you see? Hey, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification icon so you're notified every time we release a new barge or marine construction video. We appreciate your support. Shale barges. These are deck barges with cargo bins and open hopper type barges both having stabilizing bulkheads in the cargo compartment. These oil fill waste barges are used at oil well drilling sites to contain and transport any liquids and shale cuttings produced by the drilling operation that cannot be discharged overboard because of environmental consideration. This cargo is then disposed of by an approved processing company. These barges are subject to rules and regulations promulgated and enforced 
by the U.S. Coast Guard, which publishes appropriate manuals for public guidance. Liquid Mud Barges. These barges are equipped with two deck level bin tanks that provide a total of four separate compartments containing onboard piping and pumping systems. These barges are capable of both the circulation and discharge of fluids at any remote facility. While inland oil well drilling sites are the primary operational service location for these drilling barges, land-based storage facilities also benefit from the storage and transportation aspects they provide. Well, that's all we've got for now. Stay tuned for our next video in this series, which will cover deck barge safety and everything you need to know, including tips to avoid slips and falls, OSHA guidelines, proper attire, ladder safety, and more. Once again, we want to thank our sponsor for this video, McDonough Marine Service. If you're looking for any of the barges mentioned in this video, be sure to visit McDonoughMarine.com or call 888-569-5929.